Good afternoon, I'm Sukrat Singh. This is my group members Zhang Zinfan and Sarah. Okay, and we are going to present to you our International Financial Management Group assignment based on Sunway Group. Good afternoon. Today me and my group will giving will be giving a presentation on our International Financial Management project on the foreign exchange exposure of multinational corporations. Correct. Okay. First, we'll be, we are, we'll be looking at the group which is Sunway Group. Sunway Group basically mainly focuses on three segments, three sectors which is property development, construction, and trading and manufacturing. Its multinational operations basically mainly focus if, uh, mainly focused in China, Singapore, India, Vietnam, and Australia. Next. First, I'll explain the competitive advantages. One of the competitive advantages of Sunway Group is advanced, is advanced technology. One is which is no, one of it which is known as virtual design and construction also called VDC. It allows for basically the construction of an accurate virtual model of the building before the actual construction begins which allows for the saving of time, money, expenditure because they're able to see the plan now and how the entire company, the building will be formed and how it's built, what materials will be involved with, the flaws are and manage to correct them all ahead of time. Another company competitive advantage is Competitive advantage the Sunway Group has is its competitiveness of its in the home market. In Malaysia, Sunway Group plays a pivotal role in the property construction and also competes in other markets such as education, leisure, healthcare, amusement parks, and amusement parks. And it is known to be very highly successful in all of them. Thanks. Now, let's look at the financial strategies that Sunway Group uses to transfer and sustain its competitive advantage. The first one is land banking which involves the acquisition of lands through open tender for construction and development. One example of this is used in its multinational operations in Singapore where the group acquired by open tender through the Urban Redevelopment Authority a prime parcel of land located in District 9, Singapore which is said to have an unparalleled location amongst new developments given that it is located very close to a shopping district. The methods of finance, this method of financing seems to be effective as it is a real compromise of luxurious low-rise condominium that is estimated to have a gross development amounting to 800, at least 820 sing, 20 million sing dollars. Next. Right. Then there is another financial strategy used by Sunway Group is joint venture, namely with Hot Pot in Singapore during the year 2012 to acquire the Land Bank of Novena which marks a turn, a, turn, a turn for the group's venture into commercial development in Singapore. Last but not least, the group is also known to use internal loans as a financial strategy, seeing as the group has, used, has, has many times before used its profits from its construction segments to make provisions for payments of plant and machinery for their operations in China. It has also been used to use bank loans as a source for financing in China as well. Thank you. Now I will be explaining the potential uh, foreign exchange exposure faced by Sunway Group. There are three types of foreign exchange exposure uh, transaction exposure, translation exposure, and operating exposure. We look at uh, first exposure first. Transaction exposure is a type of foreign exchange risk faced by companies that participate in international transactions. For example, we look at the annual report of Sunway Group in 2013. We noticed that there are one subsidiary named Sunway Pipeless Technologies Centre Baha, which is located in Malaysia, is mainly engaged in uh, trading of concrete pipes. Let's assume a scenario that Pipeless signed a contract to sell concrete pipes to a Thailand company at value of Thai baht 1 million. After the contract being signed, the value of Thai baht job. Therefore, Pyrus is now having loss due to the change of foreign exchange rate. This is a typical example of for, um, transaction exposure. Next, please. We look at the second exposure that is translation exposure. It's purely accounting exposure. And again, for example, when we look at the um, annual report of Sunway Group, we notice that they have um, some sub subsidiary named Sunway Marketing in Thailand. And if someone marketing prepares its financial reports in uh, Thai baht, which is its functional currency, and during the consolidation, someone could need to translate someone marketing's financial report into Malaysian ringgit because its 
uh, parent company, Sunway Group, is located in Malaysia and they are using Malaysian ringgit as their presentation currency. Therefore, exchange rate between Thai baht and ringgit was fluctuating during the period. Sunway Group is, not, is then facing the translation exposure. The third exposure is operating exposure. Operating exposure is the measurement of exchange of present value of the company because of the change in future cash flow, which caused by unexpected change in foreign exchange rate. This is the um, this is all the subsidiaries that Huawei Group has in China. We can notice that. Uh, when because when this company, this subsidiary, they are operating in China, definitely they need to pay and receive their they, they need to pay their operating costs and receive their um, operating income in mostly in renminbi. Therefore, when the when let's say one of the company is paying their their operating costs in renminbi and the cost the um, the value of renminbi increase as the economy in China grows. Which means that for some way group, it actually need to pay more Malaysian ringgit to um, op to maintain the operation of this subsidiary. This is the operating exposure. Thank you. Okay, so um, because some way group is exposed to so many foreign exchange exposures, they will need to come up with effective international financial management strategies in order to deal with them. Now for their transaction exposure, the group uses forward contracts to manage their transaction exposure. Now, forward contracts allow the group to exchange a certain amount of foreign currency at a predetermined rate and time. They are indeed effective in managing foreign exchange exposures, but the problem is that if the group enters into forward contracts, it prevents the group from taking advantage of movements in the exchange rate which might be beneficial to it because the forward countries are an obligation and the groups cannot cannot stop themselves they have to honor the obligation now for the translation exposure the group uses the temporal method to translate its um, financial statements the, the under this method the group translates the monetary assets and liabilities denominated in foreign currencies at the ruling exchange rate at the reporting date. Now, for non monetary assets and liabilities that are, in, that are measured at the initial cost, they are translated using the exchange rate prevalent at the date of the initial transaction, while those that are measured at fair value are translated using the exchange rates at the date when the fair value was determined. Whatever exchange rate differences arising from the translation of the monetary assets at the reporting date, whatever differences between these figures are now recognized in the profit and loss account. Now, for operating exposure, the group uses cross currency swaps. Now, cross currency swaps involve the exchange of the exchange of payments denominated in one currency for payments denominated in another currency. How it works is that the group exchanges foreign exchanges in a denomination that it does not want for currency which it desires. Now, cross currency swaps are effective only if the group is able to find a reliable counterparty or if they use their reputable banks as agents for the transaction. Because if they are in, in, engaged in a cross currency swap, cross currency swap with um, with a counterparty that is not reliable, the group might incur extra costs in order to settle both um, obligations at the same time. Thank you.